Comedian Simon Brodkin is the man behind some of the world's biggest stunts. From targeting corrupt organisations... British comedian Simon Brodkin... Simon Brodkin... Simon Brodkin... Showering the FIFA president with fake banknotes... Poking fun at self-important celebrities... Here's Kanye West performing and all of a sudden, Simon Brodkin... ...managed to get onto the stage... Oh, God, but what you bring home? You see a... ...and taking on cheating corporations. VW admits to what it calls a massive screw-up. Excuse me, I have the new cheat box. No one's going to find out about this one. This is Britain's greatest hoaxer. After I did Set Blatter, the next person I really wanted to go for was Donald Trump. He's racist. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. He's sexist. You wouldn't have your job if you weren't beautiful. It's very sad, isn't it? He's hateful. I will build a great, great wall, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. So when I found out Trump was coming to the UK, I immediately knew that I had a window of about five hours in which to get him. I will be going to Scotland to celebrate the opening of the newly renovated Trump Turnbury Resort. <laughs> He's coming here in the middle of his campaign. <laughs> for a golf course. He was going to get a private jet to somewhere in Scotland and then get a helicopter to the golf course to Turnbury, be on the golf course for a few hours and then sod off back to America to grab some more women by the pussy. I'm basically trying to work out what Trump is going to do when he steps on that golf course in Scotland, other than just being an arsehole in a different country. He owns other golf courses. He owns one in Aberdeen. He owns 18 golf courses. And he seems to do the same thing at every golf course he opens. He walks to the first tee, gives a crap speech. Scotland is important. Then he cuts open a ribbon with his tiny hands, then tees off. And it always seems to follow a pretty similar pattern. That was a year ago. Look now at his security. This is what happens when you try and get close to him. This is Trump at one of his rallies. 15 Secret Service agents around him, a load of local police, and someone tries to rush the stage, jumps over. Whoa! I'm so getting shot. Record temperatures approximately minus 42. Welcome to Glasgow. Hello. Golf course recce outfit on. Nice. So what do you want to do when you get there? I want to have a snoop around. I want to get a feel for the place, the layout, the geography, just get my head around it all. And, I don't know, do what you do at golf clubs, maybe hang out at some men-only tea rooms. We're here. And that's the hotel. That's either a caddies dressed in white or it's Ku Klux Klan meeting. <laughs> Have a look over there, just by T number one. There's a little building. I wonder if that is going to be where he does his ribbon cutting. Our priority mm. has to be looking at hole number one. OK, there's a lot of members of staff there, though. He's terrible, but he keeps missing it. Oh, look at that uniform. That's a good one. I said walk away now because I felt like I was getting stared at. The decision of what stunt I was going to go for was almost decided as soon as I saw that he was coming because it was Donald Trump's coming to open his golf course. So that immediately limited the number of options I had for him because it had to be on a golf course. All right, there's four questions I'm trying to answer if I'm to have a hope of pulling this off. The first thing I've got to work out is what are Trump's movements. I think he's going to land his helicopter on his helipad in front of the hotel. This is an American we're talking about. He's not going to want to walk far. I actually think he's going to go to the first tee, cut a ribbon, tee off. Then I think he's going to go back to the helipad and sod off back to America to make it great again. How can I gain access to the whole event? All right, a number of ideas. Hotel employee is uh, quite a posh hotel. They've all got their set uniforms, but I'll be fucked if I'm dressing up as a chambermaid. Pretend I'm a golfer, and pretend I'm a piper. Dress up as a caddy and maybe join him. I book myself a room at the hotel. So that might get me access, and if it doesn't, I'm gonna take a piss in the bed. How close am I actually gonna be able to get? Secret Service, Scottish Police, Counterterrorism Unit, FBI, I don't know. Finally, what is the stunt gonna be? Turn off as a Mexican builder, ask Donald where he wants the wall and how do I pay for it? As he's about to tee off, I chuck a load of balls at him. 
all of them have got a swastika on. I put a sign in front of him, official golf-looking sign, please keep Muslims off the grass. My favourite is probably the balls, so I'm going to go with that idea for now. I'm going to order some balls, but there's so many unknowns. It's been a very busy 24 hours for me. Save me, after the first 20 minutes, it was my kids. They just thought they were drawing propellers to help Daddy make super quick helicopter balls. What I want to do is try them outside now, see how they disperse, see how it looks, get the general vibe for what it's like to chuck uh, 65 swastika balls at someone. Damn it. I mean, look, you can hardly... See. If you are standing here... I don't know, man. Despite my big reservations about the golf balls, I think that's my best plan. I don't need to be next to him. If I throw them right, they'll be, like, amongst him. He will be part of it. Even when I'm gone, the balls will still be there. And I've had some properly made. I mean, never have some swastikas brought a smile to a Jewish face. So have you worked out how you're actually going to get in there? I was thinking about what a lot of the staff are wearing at Turnbury. Oh, look at that uniform. That's a good one. And I thought they looked fairly similar to this. The golf club sells it, and they wore that tartan tie. Thank you, eBay. I'm going to try and look like I work there. And when the time's right... Uh, sorry, Mr Trump, your balls have arrived. <laughs> Well, Donald Trump has taken a couple of steps off the campaign trail to tend to some overseas business. He'll be giving a press conference uh, on that ninth tee right in front of the lighthouse. Wait until you see the view there. He's here for the reopening of his Turnberry Golf Resort. Staffers on hand to greet him, some wearing those famous red Trump caps. I knew there was no way I was going to be able to get the balls through. I mean, no way. What you've got to understand is this is maximum level security. Security is already tight at Turnbury, and hundreds of demonstrators are expected here to protest against the comments Mr Trump's made about Muslims and Hispanics. I'm not exactly sure what the vibe's going to be out there, but I'm prepared. There are barriers. There's police cars doing circuits every few minutes. There's policemen walking up and down, and this is the best thing. Look outside the window. Is that security? Yes. When you got there, they not only searched you and patted you down and wandered you, they opened up your bag, they made you take every single thing out your pocket, they took apart any electronic devices, they opened up your sandwiches. This is top-level security. I booked a hotel room in the golf course hotel. I got there the night before and I went in, dressed smartly, as a guest and I was carrying an identical bag to what I was going to carry the next day when I did the stunt. In this bag were hundreds of Nazi golf balls. I went into the room, I put the bag of golf balls into the cupboard, covered it with a few things just in case housekeeping were there, and then went back to the B&B. &B. Slept the night at the B&B, &B. then the next day went on the golf course dressed as a member of staff. I'm all set. I now work at Trump Turnberry. Went with the identical looking bag, got that search by Secret Service. They gave that the all clear. I was able to go through and then went into the hotel room and did the old switcheroo. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd just like to bid you all a very warm welcome, and I would like to introduce you to uh, Mr. Donald J. Trump. Yeah. Sorry, Donald. Those are the new balls you ordered. Um, <laughs> I've got a few here for you, sir. These are the new balls available from the, uh, from the clubhouse as part of the new Trump Turnbury range. Get them out.
A protester slash prankster managed to embed himself with the journalists. But not tight enough, it seems, to stop comedian Simon Brodkin dumping golf balls painted with swastikas at the Republican uh, presidential hopeful's feet. If you want, you can uh, hand them out. They are available. Here we go. This is part of the new Trump range. Sorry, Mr. Trump, I meant to give them out earlier. Do the proper two alpha control. The uh, gentleman has now been arrested. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And this is an amazing honor. It's an amazing day, very historic day for a lot of reasons, not only Turn Brady. Nazi emblazoned golf balls, there must have been 40, 50, 60 of them, were left surrounding Donald Trump, and we've counted for 29 minutes. I think it'll turn out to be a good thing, maybe short term not, but ultimately I think it will be a good thing. And uh, I've actually been in touch and some, by the way, don't like it and some do like it. You know, they're advisors, they're like everybody. So I was calm and happy that I'd done it, perplexed I was given so much time and baffled that they weren't immediately sweeping away the golf balls. And then frankly, after that, you're away in police custody and you're just hoping you're not gonna be shipped out to America and waterboarded. <laughs> How was your little ride in the police car? They are the nicest coppers in the world. Really? Not only did they not put me in prison, they gave me a lift halfway home. <laughs> Amazing. I don't want to get arrested in Scotland again. I've been handcuffed for about three hours. You were handcuffed? Really? Um, yeah. And then they told me countlessly how lucky I was I hadn't been shot. So that's a result that I'm still alive. Always a bonus after a stunt. Trump is absolutely livid. This keeps happening to me. Maybe stop being such a bell end then. Trump eventually calmed down as much as a very, very, very angry man ever does. Agreed not to press charges on one condition the Secret Service would interview me, aka waterboard me, leave me for dead. Police finally released me, gave me back my phone, switched it on. I thought one or two people might have noticed. Don't forget it was the day after the Brexit vote. That morning we'd found out we were leaving Europe, but I was absolutely blown away. There were messages from all around the world. It was trending on Twitter. I couldn't believe the volume and uh, the love for what I'd done. So I got around the police, I got around the anti-terrorism unit, I got past his personal bodyguards, and I got past the Secret Service, which I thought couldn't be done until what I've worked at in hindsight, the Secret Service secret is they're a little bit shit.